Good morning, everybody. We're standing here next to the old lady who's still scared of whatever it was that attacked her three days ago. I guess she'll be spending the rest of her life there. That's too bad. As for us, well, we're headed to the castle to claim our just rewards. Oh boy. What's that all about? What was that, Serena? Did you say something? Hmm? No. I didn't say anything at all. Why? Did you hit I thought so, but well, never mind. It must have just been my imagination. Come on, let's go. I don't know. But okay, call it what you will. Call it an RPG player's intuition that when you hear a funny voice, it usually means bad things lie ahead. But we just beat the boss, though. Yeah, it keeps telling me that. Hey, bitchard. Er, I couldn't decide whether to say Bill or Richard, and I ended up saying bitchard. If I can bet you say it, she throws the whole city with a single spell. Surely not. But if there is any truth to the tale, the wishes return is a frightening prospect indeed. Yeah, better to be safe. Probably. Okay, what about you, Howl's Moving Castle? Yeah. A terrifying thought, indeed. What's up, guard? Private chamber. Yeah, I guess we probably don't want to go there then. What about you? We first Bell and I grew up together. We've been like sisters. Well, that's that's cool. Toward the rear, huh? Incoming enemy from my rear. There it is oh, again. Yeah? Well, if I'm a fool, then what are you? What's the matter with you, Veronica? I didn't say anything. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. did. Yes, you did. Hmm. Something funny's going on around here. Let's get in and see the queen before anything else strange happens. I don't know, man. I got a bad feeling. It's not who she claims to be. Hmm, well. Well, I don't know. What's up, dudes and dudettes? Major League Buck Kicking is back in town! Ah, excellent! You came. Let me present to you the blue orb of Sniffelheim. If you will just come a little closer. Objection! How could I ever get blue balls by coming closer to a woman? We just locked you away and shut your trap. What? Ridiculous! She's the witch, not me! Don't believe her lies! Don't believe Andor's lies! Hmm. Trick us once, shame on you. Trick us twice, shame on us. You might not like being trapped in there again, but you'll just have to get used to it. You tell that asshole! No, you're wrong! The spell didn't work because Snorri paused in the middle of it. You have to believe me. She's lying. 
the wicked witch is trying to trick you again. You have to believe me. Hmm. Everybody calm down. I have been Her Majesty's tutor for ten years. If anyone can tell the real queen from the imposter, it is me. Okay then. Let's have the miracle. I will ask one question to both of you. Whoever answers it correctly is the real Queen Frisabel. Let's have it. Here is the question. What is the true treasure of Sniffelheim? The real Frisabel would remember her father's teachings well. <laughs> That's easy. The true treasure of Sniffelheim is clearly the blue ore. What else could it be but something so valuable? Of course you would say the blue balls are the treasure. So you want every guy in this town to stay a virgin forever. Hmm. The orb, you say? The orb, you say? Very well. well. Now then. What is your answer? The true treasure of Sniffelheim is its people. Though the bleakest blizzards assail them, ever do they warm these frigid climes with their ardent hearts. Now that's what I call treasure. Precisely! The very words the royal family have passed down through the generations. The real Queen Frisabel is the one in the book! No! She's a liar, you fools! You imbeciles! Can't you see? Curse you! Well... Oh yes, very queenly. Hm. Is it a point again? <laughs> again. Fine. You caught me out again. I surrender. I surrender. How alone. How alone. That's two pairs of glasses you've broken now. You're going to turn into Adrian Andrews at this point. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I wait all that time to get my powers back, and you make me waste every last drop on escaping that wretched book again. My magic is spent. My life is yours. Boil me in a cauldron, burn me at the stake. Just get it over with. Men, take her to the dungeon. Spend your days in the dungeon. Wait! Your Majesty, what are you doing? Don't take her to the dungeon. I kind of like the blue ball idea. Huh? Well, let's hear it then. Queen Frisabel, please, step away from her. She says she has lost her powers, but how can we know for sure? She is a witch. It is in her nature to lie. Oh. Everyone, listen to me. It is true that Kristalinda did something unforgivable when she froze this city. But... We spoke from time to time when she held me captive. She listened to me. She even helped me to understand what it is to be queen. Hers is not a bad heart. And the time I spent in the book, it gave me the chance to think. To ready myself to truly rule at last. And to maybe not wear a cape with the symbol on it. Please. I believe her when she says her powers are spent. She's not a threat to us any longer. 
We must let her live. Hmm. She seems convinced, Snorri. Why not give Crystalinda one last chance? Very well. You are the ruler of this kingdom, Your Majesty. If that is your decision, we will gladly follow it. Uh. <laughs> well... <laughs> Must you be so nicey, nicey, Frisabel? You're making me look bad. Crystalinda, there's something I still don't understand. Why did you free Sniffleheim in the first place? Oh, that was a favor for a friend. The splendid specimen who released me from the grimoire. As you know, I was trapped in that dusty, fusty library for a horribly long time. Oh, it was so, so boring. <laughs> then, three months ago, he appeared. He took down my book from the shelf and spoke to me. I will release you from your prison, but you must do something for me in return. For a beautiful boy like you? Anything. Free me and I am yours forevermore. What is your desire, my pretty? You must freeze Sniffleheim. When you do, a great hero will be sent to save the city. One who wears the same pendant as I. Hmm. Well, figures Blue Miss Blue Balls and Mr. Metro will be hooking up over here. His name is Hendrik, and when he arrives, I would like you to kill him. What? So I did as he asked. And when the great hero arrived, I decided to have him run a little errand for me before I disposed of him. To slay a mighty beast that just happened to have stolen my powers. And, well, the rest you know. The same pendant as Sir Henry, eh? And what was this handsome young fellow's name, might I ask? His name? Oh, I haven't a clue. He disappeared after he freed me, and I haven't seen him since. It's a shame. He was such a pretty little thing. My god, the one night stand and everything? Y'all are just so... <sighs> such fair weather at this. Y'all are really bad at this, you know? Thank you once again for all you have done for me and my kingdom. The orb is yours to do with as you see fit. Well, don't mind if I do. And with that, my friends, we now have all six orbs. But your majesty, isn't the orb one of your kingdom's most precious treasures? Are you sure you don't mind us taking it? Of course. As my father always said, the true treasure of this kingdom is its people. And if not for you, they may well have been frozen forever. Well, if you insist, best of luck with all your royal duties. And try not to let the pressure get to you, okay? <laughs> Oh, don't worry about that, little girl. Frisabel will be just fine. I plan to take very good care of her. Maybe I'll teach her to not be such a nerd. But then again, being nerds has its advantages, I know. I suppose. Ooh. Wow, we are actually here. Can't believe this. Oh man, this is good. This is really good. Uh, it's not to say that we're gonna get straight there just yet, but it's 
definitely a step in the right direction. So, well, um... Is there anybody else to really talk to? No. Can the witch truly be trusted? Well, you know, a little kindness can go a long way. Yeah, keep your wits about you. That's always a smart thing to do. What does the king have to say? Whatever it was that we did. I'm not even sure myself, but hey. There's nothing behind this throne. Except for a floor. I wonder if we can get to that floor down there. Can we get down there, I wonder? It'd be pretty cool if we could. I don't think we actually can. Oh well. I suppose we better head on out then. Well, I suppose now we can explore the rest of the castle now. Now that the ladies are up on the throne where they should be. Taking a dump like they should be. We can just sneak right in here and grab a book. The Keystone Kingdom, a history of Sniffleheim. Hmm, yes, yes. Yep, all two terabytes of it. How's it going, broom lady? Doing your job, right? Jeez. Alright. Across the way to the right. We'll do this now. Hey yo. Whoa, that was a burp. Oh, that was a second burp. So was this like the basement? Man, I was gonna really sleep down here. of Lunaria. Alright. Oh, so this is the dungeon you speak of. Wow. Cool. Doesn't seem so bad. No. Oh, man. Not another one of these doors. Poops, man. Well, surely there's gotta be something we can get in here. Can't see uh, another mini metal. Sapphire, cool. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. I think that's all we can get here. Except for whatever's in there. I'll have to remember all those places, too. That's okay, I'm sure. I'm sure we'll find some excuse to go combing through every last town a second time. Or a third time. So look for all those doors. Or we could just use a nice handy little list online. Video games really have changed ever since the internet came along. It's almost like they expect you to look stuff up at this point. Because there's more than any normal person would ever find. Then again... Even the old games had more than every normal person to find. FF6, for example. What are you doing loitering by the docks, Eric? 
None of your business. So? Did you get the orb or what? We did. And all because I can spot a phony a mile off. You can thank me later. Mm. Huh? What's wrong, Rab? Oh, it's nothing, lassie. I just can't stop wondering who the handsome young fellow that put Crystalinda up to all this might be. He'd have to be very important indeed to have the same pendant as the mighty Sir Hendrik. You don't think it could have been Mordigan himself, do you? I wish I knew, Serena. Really, I do. Well, standing around here guessing won't do us any good. We've a tree of life to be getting to. Damn right we do. Come on, you horrible lot. This adventure isn't over yet. Onward to Yggdrasil! Well, he sure sounds happy. Oh! oh. Uh, Crivens! <laughs> how, how, how did that get there? Ooh! Is this what you were so engrossed in back at the library, Rab? I thought you said it was a spell book. Well, yeah. Another one to add to the collection, eh? And now <laughs> I was thinking you'd finally got over your little obsession. The collection. Wow. <gasps> Sir Rab, you have been caught red-handed and red-faced. Yeah, well, at least you have not blue balls. Like I do. And after you'd just done your rousing speech, too. Talk about mortifying. Ah. <sighs> Oh, even Eric feels bad for the poor guy. But, 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 but wait, you, you don't understand. I only read them for the articles. Sir, sure, sir. Sure. <sighs> Enough of your mansplaining. The articles, I tell ye! Whatever you say, whatever you say, my man. Alright, well, I think now... Now might be the point at which... Oh, fear. Yep. There's a couple of side quests we have unlocked now. Let's check them out. These are pretty easy. They don't take very long to do, so we're just gonna rush in and do them. Well, I mean, let's try not to rush, you know, but... Or, well, you know. Alright, so here's this one here. Oh, Vikings, huh? Seems cool. Ah. Oh, seems a little strange. Then. Well, I mean, I'm curious. I don't remember exactly how, like, that story resolved itself, but my first thought is, what are the Vikings paying them for? Are they just paying them not to uh, to attack them and run them off to some other continent? the way that humans would normally do. Yeah, well, no, you're not so bad. So then we come in here, and, uh, it's not either of you, is it? 
Oh, Penuo. What am I going to do? Do you know Crystalinda Traveler? She often drinks downstairs in the meat hall. She is so very beautiful. I fell in love with her at first sight. The other day I finally plucked up the courage to ask her hand in marriage. I gave her a proposal of flowers, told her I loved her more than words can say. I donated 10,000 bits in her stream. And can you believe it, Traveler? She said yes! She said that she would marry me so long as I proved that I mean what I say. Oh. So the flower you need blooms by the inlet shaped like the full moon in the south of the Snarefelt. And only there. A cold crush. Yes. Icy cold. Well, that shouldn't take that long to get to. After all, the snare felt is right next door, so... All we gotta do is just run right over and grab it. This other one with the pirates may be a little bit longer, but still... As I recall, it's nothing too big. It's not too big of a deal. There might be a little bit of cutscene edge, but... What the heck? I noticed this before. A giant hand sticking out of the ground. Wow, okay, sure. No problem, I guess. So there is like a campsite out here that I could have warped to. The only problem is I never slept by that campsite, so... I actually can't warp to it. Head down to this southern area here. I guess normally, well, you know what? Since it's available now, let's just go ahead and stop there. Might as well. Rest until... Noon, I don't know. Now that I've gotten used to the cold, I don't even care about making my character sleep in it anymore. Aren't I terrible? Gosh darn me and my stupid adaptation. Slime sickles? Oh, jeez. Oh, that's true. Uh, yeah, that's right. Wow. Not bad at all. Nice. Whoa, is that? I think it's just the way the sun reflected off that treasure chest and made it look like a super gold treasure chest or something. It's like, whoa, did I find something really cool here? There it is, there's a flower. It's a flower that guy was looking for. I suppose now he gets to profess his love after all. I kind of want to fight some more of these monsters here, because I haven't really seen these before. And maybe they drop more good stuff that we could pick up. I feel like if I was going to grind for pickups and stuff, I'd rather do that off-screen. So I may do a little bit of that between now and the next video. Just so we can, uh, less of a chance of us running into something we don't have later that we might need. Oh, it's so awesome to have this town wide open to us now. And that would be all frozen over. Alright, Mr. Gun of the Stairs. Hope you have a good proposal. Oh, wait a minute. This is the wrong place. 
<laughs> no, I said nothing about a proposal. Nothing. Nothing at all. Oh, you are back. Tell me, Traveler, have you found the flower I need to win her hand? This is the flower you found by the moon-shaped lake. It is a snake rose, a rare bloom that only grows amid the winter snow, and whose pure white petals only open in the light of the moon. Oh. Well, I got some nice Creole seasoning if you want to just sprinkle it under your hat. Then maybe, maybe next time you're making out, just catch a whiff of it. Hey, I'm trying to teach you a recipe here, not the other way around. But, I mean, I'll take it. Pop, pop. Very nice. Alright. Well, the other one's a little trickier because it requires us to go to a new area that we haven't been to yet. Fortunately, said area is extremely close by. We just never got around to checking it out yet, so... But I suppose we'll have to do that next time on Dragon Quest XI. Oh yeah.